Uh, hello there again. We are going to try the wood bending again and uh, got a new tool to help out with things. I have taken some of the strips that I had and uh, got this new caliper so I can actually measure the thickness. And it turned out that I was trying to bend um, some of these strips that were uh, up to uh, about three millimeters thick. Um, and sometimes greater, and uh, I've planed this one down, uh, trying a number of techniques to about one and a half to one and three quarter um, millimeters. The actual ribs will be down to I'm trying one. a bit of a different technique um, for bending as well as getting the wood a bit thinner. Um, one is, uh, according to some things I've read, um, they suggested getting the iron a lot hotter than I had it. So um, I don't know if you can see this, but now the iron is hot enough that the water doesn't sit on it and boil, it actually just beads up and runs off. Um, the other thing is that rather than soaking this cloth as part of the bending sandwich, what I'll be doing is dampening it in some warm water, actually wringing it out, and the bending sandwich that I'll be creating will be a piece of parchment in between the aluminum strap, the bending board, or the board to be bent, and finally the um, damp piece of, of cloth uh, will only be under there um, long enough to get the water um, that's left in it um, hot enough to steam into the wood, and then I'll immediately take that out and then steam the wood. So here we go, I've got the, the aluminum flashing that I'm using as a bending strap. I've got the parchment in there to keep the aluminum from uh, staining the wood. <laughs> and if I can hold on to things, I've got my piece of uh, dampened cloth, it's cotton, to help put some steam onto the wood. I'm going to do this in stages, a little bit at a time. And as I said in one of my previous videos, one of the things I've found is that you need to make sure and um, basically keep pressure on the bend, bend that you've made so far, because otherwise it'll almost immediately tend to unbend, at least until it it cools and dries. Well, you saw it very quickly. We got to a nice tight bend and it's it's fairly square. Um, it wouldn't take much to get it all squared up. It's actually uh, quite a bit tighter than I need for the sea bath. So this is, this is awesome. And I didn't get any staining on the outside as I did um, when I was just using the aluminum strap by itself. The parchment uh, saved the day there. Um, in case you're wondering, this parchment is uh, something that you can get in most grocery stores just in the baking department or along with a wax paper things like that um, and it's made for uh, use in the oven so it can get very hot without uh, without burning. So it looks like we've got a uh, success here. Okay I do believe we have uh, success here. We've got the uh, rib bent to the the sea bout and it looks like it's a pretty good fit. I'm sure I could work it a little more to get it absolutely perfect, but it's probably close enough that it could be glued. Um, unfortunately, this isn't one of the real ribs. This is just one of the practice ribs, um, but I'm pretty pleased with uh, having gotten this far. This is the actual maple uh, that I'll be, that is uh, was shipped for the sides of the violin. And uh, I felt pretty blessed to discover that it is already trimmed down to a quite uniform 1.2 millimeters thick and it also looks like it has pretty square sides. I'll be checking that later to see how much I need to plane down to get a nice straight size on at least one edge. So I'm pretty thrilled and it looks like I'm going to start actually building this thing uh, really soon.